Hello friends, this is Astrologer Manish and thank you for watching my videos on Vedic Astrology. The new lunar month is starting from February 9, 2024. New lunar month brings new changes to the society, to the world, to the people because moon represents your mind. Everything emerges in your mind, the thoughts, good thoughts, bad thoughts, sad, anxiety, happiness, everything is in your thoughts which is emerging in your mind. Your mind, your thoughts, and from your thoughts, you take actions. Those actions becomes karmas. And the karmas gives you the good and the bad results. So, movement of moon is very important in your birth chart. Where the moon sits in your birth chart, natal chart, that is the most important sign because moon differentiates between you and the other people born on the same day because in one day moon changes one nakshatras and the division of nakshatras can even differentiate between two twins born in the same place same location same hospital so this is how strong and accurate the vedic astrology is so what is about to happen in the month of february for you individually and also for the countries like US, Israel, China, India and also what is going to happen in the stock market. In this video, I will cover it up. So stay tuned and watch the entire video to understand what is about to happen in the month of February 2024, starting from the 9th February with a new lunar month. So very quickly, I won't go much into the technicalities, but I'm going to show you just the new lunar month so if you see the new chart here and if you go to the mundane astrology new lunar month this is happening on the february of 9th 2024 in the sign of capricorn you see sun and moon both conjunct in the nakshatra of dhanishta which is ruled by mars and when we look at the sarvottobhadra chakra which is the holy grail of financial astrology you see mercury is putting veda on the on the new lunar day when the, the sorry new lunar month when sun and moon are conjunct so here the mercury is putting its veda so what you should expect in the matters of stock market since this is happening in the sign of capricorn and the nakshatra is the nishta capricorn is movable and earthy sign prices will stick stick and then go upwards stick and then go upwards movable sign sometimes bit rash in ups and downs but overall it is a very sluggish move sluggish means because of the early sign the price will stick to one level and then side trends side trends and then up then side trends side trend then up so sluggish move but overall positive bullish so stay bullish if you are invested in the stock market nasdaq especially in the united states or any technical stocks in whatever countries you are in Rahu is in the Revati Nakshatra as I have covered in multiple times in my previous videos. Revati Nakshatra is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is all about technology, artificial intelligence, cryptocurrencies, communication. All the stocks of these particular commodities or these equities will go upwards. Okay, So invest in, in the technology stocks. Now we also saw that Mars and Mercury sitting in the Capricorn on the new lunar month. Gold and silver will rise slowly. Again, sluggish, sideways trends, but upwards. Capricorn itself is a bullish zodiac sign. But being a movable and earthy, it shows very slow, slow move, sluggish move, trending move, and then go upwards. Okay, so very easily you can see that. Through Vedic astrology, you can predict where the markets will be based on the new lunar month chart. Now, lunation is happening in the nakshatra of the Nishta, which is ruled by Mars. Veda from Mercury, it again reinforces that the gold bullions and silver will go upwards. Okay, so Mercury in Veda is giving us a reconfirmation. Iron, pearl, distilleries and leather products, if you are invested in these commodities also, they will also go upwards. So this is what you will see happening in the month of February till 10th of March, till the new lunar month starts. Okay, every new lunar month starts a new cycle for my cryptocurrency investors bitcoins will go upwards the range will be 43 to 48k 
and other cryptocurrencies most of the cryptocurrencies they mimic bitcoins itself so you will see they will also go upwards they will mimic as the bitcoins up and down sluggish move but definitely within the range of 43 to 48 it may go a little bit up sometimes 48 plus but it will come down again um, it will be just a rash sudden move but you will see 43 48 is the range it will go into now for my uh, subscribers who have these as their moon sign libra aquarius leo and cancer they are still prone to the viruses okay so if i see here veda of of ketu veda of ketu is landing on libra aquarius leo and cancer so these ascendant signs and moon sign moon sign most importantly if you have an ascendant sign which is one of those Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Cancer or your moon sign, your natal moon is in these signs at the birth time, you are prone to sickness and viral diseases. Some of the diseases which will be even difficult to predict and diagnosis uh, because this is how the Ketu works. It is a diagnostic confusion. Okay, So again, just be aware of that and plan your travel, plan your activities according to it. Sun moving to uh, Shatabisha Nakshatra on 19th of February. This nakshatra is ruled by Rahu. Rahu rules drugs, medical drugs, inflammable products, okay, like gasoline, kerosene, uh, explosives, stainless steel, electricity, wine, beverages, and gambling. So you will see these prices of these commodities will go upwards. Sun is malefic as per the classic Vedic astrology. And when it comes to the nakshatra of Rahu, Shatabisha nakshatra, it will cause scarcity within these commodities and you will see that the gambling habits of the people who love to gamble casinos they will have a more and more volume going on and you will see explosives military explosives um, inflammable products gasoline kerosene and other chemicals hydrogen they will go up even rise in the prices of the drugs and the pharmaceutical drugs will also go higher so again this is about to happen in the month of February. So this is my predictions on the stock market. Now if you go further to the predictions of the individual countries, what to expect? For United States of America from February 9th and 10th of March, this is the, new, the complete lunar month, rise of government expenses will happen, inflation will be seen higher and disruption of the flow of funds, slow economic growth and higher interest will prevail. This is mainly because the lunation is happening in the second house of the birth chart of United States. U.S. is Sagittarius Ascendant and the Capricorn becomes the second house of finances. So you will see that financial matters of United States will have a sluggish growth or the challenges. And from the natal moon to the transit moon for United States, they are 12 houses away. It denotes immigration crisis, refugee asylum. So more people will come to the United States to seek refuge, to seek asylum. We already see the problem is growing and it will continue to grow even more in the month of February. Expenses and organized crime. A lot of criminals through the channel of immigration, refuge, asylum will be coming to United States and U.S. will have more problems than usually we have seen in the past. Most of these things, uh, you see, media does not cover. And the reason is media is always biased towards the ruling government. So... What you see from the astrological perspective and you follow some of the non-state media channels, you will see what I'm showing you here is going to be absolutely true. Okay, So most of the problems, what government faces, challenges, they don't show it in the, in the mainstream media. Anyway, so for China, this is happening in the first house, the lunation. And Mars is also the part of the lunation. Sun is also there. So we know what are the challenges Mars produces. So discontentment among the public, country's image will deteriorate, unsatisfactory growth, deteriorate public health, involvement in scandals and underground activities. And we know China is master of doing underground activities when it comes to spionage, when it comes to uh, creating viruses, creating biological weapons or even hacking. Okay, The hacking and the, and the data stealing, China is the master. We should all learn there should be a case study for China because how you how you steal the information, how you steal the information and then you patent it yourself, nobody knows better than the Chinese. 
These are all the challenges what the government of China and the people of China will see during the month of February and March, March till March 10th of 2024. So going down towards Israel, for Israel, we know that they are already in the war situation. The lunation is happening in the fifth house. When fifth house is the house of investments, public enjoyment, entertainment, and women and children. So you will see there is a suffering here. So no enjoyment, no entertainment, no investments. And we already know it's in the war zone right now. So the problem will be even more in the month of February, especially women and children and their investments and the public enjoyment will suffer a lot. From transit moon to natal moon, seventh house. So challenges with the neighbors, enemies, international disputes, adverse effects on the foreign trade. So Israel will get into more problem during month of February till March. Their foreign investments, their foreign trade. They will have huge troubles with their neighbors also. And most of the most mostly they will have sufferings when it comes to the matters of their children, their their women, because fifth is house of overall entertainment and overall feel of a country, how the people are feeling, how entertained they are, how happy they are. So if the fifth house is, is getting into the lunation with Mars also combined, that is the house which will get afflicted and there's no happiness, rather more suffering to the people of Israel. Finally, for India, lunation is happening in the ninth house. Ninth house donates religious pursuits, your ideology. And here India will have some challenges being faced by the religious disharmony will prevail among the minorities. And we already know that this is happening from the last many months now, rather years, so that this will grow more. So, you know, minorities uh, will not be more very happy and there will be more disharmony among the people of various religions living in India. From natal to transit moon, seventh house is activated for India also. Again, challenges with the neighbors. We know they have a problem with Maldives. We have a problem with China. So this is causing more international disputes, more disputes to the foreign policies, more disputes to the border row. So this is also coming for the month of February till March. So for India, more problem from the neighbors and also the disharmony between the minorities or between the different religious and ethnic groups will prevail. So these are my predictions about India. Now for your individual charts, if you want to know about your individual uh, moon sign, predictions so rashi fall rashi is your moon sign so look at your moon sign in your natal chart if you're virgo aries your moon is in virgo not the sun sign moon is in virgo aries taurus gemini so on take your sign and then go to this link i will put it in the description below open this link and see in my blog my predictions about each of these zodiac signs where your rashi is your moon is in so which is based on the moon sign so look at your moon where it is and then read this this blog to understand what is going to happen in the month of February for you and uh, what you should be expecting. For my premium subscribers, I will also post the auspicious and inauspicious days for the month of February. So what are the in in inauspicious dates based on your Rashifal, your moon sign? What are the auspicious dates? And you should avoid the inauspicious days, especially when you are traveling, you're buying a new vehicle, you're going for a health treatment. So you should avoid those. And look for the only auspicious days to do any ceremonies, any travel, any health related matters, any major document signing, any major decision making. That will really help you because your mind is more positive on those days. And when you take a firm decision with a positive mind, you get the positive results. So this is what you will follow. And you can see uh, again, this is Astrologer Monish. Um, I'm really thankful to you for watching my videos. I'm grateful to all my audience, my subscribers. Please share this knowledge. Sharing is a good karma. And I shall see you in my next video very soon. Astrologer Monish, stay happy, stay blessed. Thank you very much. I also posted some short videos about different mantras. Mantra for success, mantra for destroying your enemies, mantra for attaining wealth and abundance in your life. If you are my subscriber, please make sure that you are receiving all the notifications, even the notification of my short videos. If you have not watched those, go to my YouTube channel, click on the shorts and look at, watch those shorts where there's a lot of, you know, tantric secret mantras being provided. If you haven't seen those, watch those, please watch it. You can use those mantras for abundance, for happiness, for growth in your life, even destroying your enemies. So they are very strong tantric mantras which are very secret. Nobody will give you that. But being my audience, being my subscriber, I'm giving it to you. So again, Astrologer Manish, I shall see you very soon in my next video. Thank you for watching.
to all my channel subscribers. We will perform once every month Devi Baglamukhi Tantric Puja for the welfare of my all subscribers. This is the divine science. This is the divine channel. And this is my offering free of cost to you that once in every month Devi Baglamukhi Tantric Puja which is the most potent puja in removing the fears, the sins, the sorrows, the challenges, the hidden enemy and the guilt from your life, including black magic. So do not miss out. Please subscribe to my channel so your names or your virtual names can be added to the list of that puja. And if you are my premium subscriber, you can email us your WhatsApp number. My team members will send you the videos of that puja over the WhatsApp. This is for the premium subscribers. For normal subscribers, your virtual names or your names will be listed. And this puja will bring tremendous changes in your life. This is my offering to you, your guru, astrologer Manish. So don't miss out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe it now so that we can put your name in the next puja, which is coming very soon. Thank you.